All right, it's time for another hieroglyph. So what was this one with these three bumps and how was it used in ancient Egyptian? That's what we'll get into in just a moment. Welcome to Voices of Ancient Egypt. If you're new here, I'd love it if you click subscribe and ring that bell so you don't miss future videos like this one. Okay, so what is this one? Well, it's actually the picture of basically a hilly country, uh, probably high desert as Egypt was mostly bordered beyond their Nile Valley wetter area. Then you had low desert that is a sandy kind of desert. And then you have high desert, which is a rocky kinds of cliffs. Um, and so as you got further out from the main inhabited areas in Egypt, you got into these rocky areas. And that's what this hieroglyph depicts. So it can be used in a couple of different ways. It can be used as a determinative for place names. So kind of like Newt that we saw recently. But in this case, it's used for foreign places. And if you're not familiar with what a determinative is, I recommend you pick up my free half hour hieroglyphs guide, which I'll link in the description. So for example, you can see this at the end of words like the names for foreign places. So let's look at, for example, this one, which is Wat, Wawat, rather, which was the name of a place in lower Nubia, that is the northern part of Nubia, fairly close to Egypt. And in addition to this, though, it can have a sound value itself, which is Haset and can spell out the word for foreign land, which is, as you might guess, chaset. Or if you want to talk about multiple foreign lands, which happens a lot in Egyptian texts, it would be chasut for the plural. All right, I'll see you in the next one.